Hello everyone! It's me again, Mr. Alexis R. Osorio. At ngayong araw na ito, ang ating pag-uusapan ay tungkol sa slope-intercept form of an equation of a line. Okay, let us consider this Cartesian plane with two points here and let us connect them. Let us say this point. This point is 0B. Okay, wherein B is any point in the y-axis. If the line crosses the y-axis at the point 0B, then B is the y-intercept of the line. Ibig sabihin yan, meron tayong point of intersection sa line at ng y-axis. Yung y-coordinate ng point of intersection nila, which is B, ay tinatawag natin na y-intercept. On the other point, we have A0, wherein A is any point in the x-axis. If the line crosses the x-axis at the point A0, then A is the x-intercept of the line. Okay, ito naman yung point of intersection ng ating line at ng x-axis. Ang x-coordinate ng point of intersection ay letter A. Letter A is known as the x-intercept. Okay, so... We are just going to remember the three letters that is very important here. Letter M, letter B, and letter A. We all know that the uh, slope is letter M or the symbol for the slope is letter M. While letter B is the symbol for the y-intercept. Letter A is the symbol for x-intercept. So, always remember that these three letters are very important in the slope of a line. Okay, we are going to focus our attention first in the slope and the y-intercept. Let us have this Cartesian plane again and let us consider these two points. Let us connect them. Okay, let us say this point is 0B. Okay, the same as our example a while ago. And this point, let us say xy. Wala ditong letter A or letter B because it is any point in the Cartesian plane, not in the x or y axis. Okay, so ito ang ating formula to get the slope of the line. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is equal to m. Remember, M is the slope. So, we are going to get the slope of these two points. Ang gagamitin natin is 0B at XY. Okay, we are going to replace X sub 1, Y sub 1 by 0B. And X sub 2, Y sub 2 by XY. So, let us uh, substitute them in our formula to get the slope. Okay, so yung ating Y sub 2 ay Y. Ang ating y sub 1 ay b. Ang ating naman denominator, x sub 2 natin is x and x sub 1 is 0. Katulad ng nakikita natin, y minus b over x minus 0 is equal to m. Okay, so yung denominator natin is x minus 0. So pwede na natin hindi ilagay si minus 0 because that is automatically Ang matitira na lang sa denominator is x. So, magiging y minus b over x is equal to m. Now, let us cross-multiply them. Pag nag-cross-multiply tayo, magiging y minus b is equal to mx because m times x is mx. Okay, so y minus b is equal to mx. Kunin natin yung uh, y lamang. So, yung uh, minus b, let us remove it. So, for us to remove minus b or negative b in the left side of this equation, we will add positive b to both side of the equation. At ang mangyayari niyan ay y is equal to mx plus b. And always remember this, y is equal to mx plus b because this is our slope-intercept form of an equation of a line. So, this is very important. So, remember this, uh, y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, slope-intercept form of an equation of the line, 
The equation of a line through point 0B with slope M is given by, ayan, Y is equal to MX plus B. Where in letter M here is the slope, and letter B here, alam natin kanina na ang letter B is symbol for y-intercept. Okay, so let us have example on how we can find the slope and y-intercept of the equation. Okay, let us say example number one. What is the slope and y-intercept of y is equal to 4x plus 5? First, let us examine if our given is in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. Tignan lagi natin kung nasa slope-intercept form na ba siya. Okay, ayun. Nasa slope-intercept form siya kasi ang nasa kaliwa lang ay y. At yung namang mayroong variable x at number lang which is the y-intercept ay nasa kanang parte ng equation. So, therefore, y is equal to 4x plus 5. Okay, ayun. Letter M natin is the numerical coefficient of the variable x kapag ka nasa slope-intercept form. So, yung number na kalapit ni x is automatically the slope of the line. While, on the other part, we have letter B, ang y-intercept natin is 5. Ayun, ganun lang pala kasimple. Yung y-intercept, yung walang kalapit or ka katabi na variable x or variable y. Basta siya ay number lang. So, that is the y-intercept. Ganun lang pala kasimple. So, ang slope natin, m is equal to 4, b, or y-intercept, is equal to 5. Ayun, ganun lang kasimple. Example number 2. What is the slope and the y-intercept of y is equal to negative 9x minus 2? Tignan din natin kung ito ba ay nasa slope-intercept form. Nasa slope-intercept form ba? Yes, kasi ang nasa kaliwa ay y lamang. Okay, so automatically, kahit isang tingin lang, malalaman natin yung slope at y-intercept. At ang slope natin is negative 9 because that is the numerical coefficient of the variable x. At yung ating namang y-intercept is negative 2. So, therefore, m is equal to negative 9, b is equal to negative 2. So, that is our slope and y-intercept. Napakabilis. Napakasimple. Okay, example number 3. What is the slope and y-intercept of y is equal to 12x plus 1? So, sa tingin ko, uh, you can answer this one. Okay, I will give you... Maybe 30 seconds, what is the slope and y-intercept of y is equal to 12x plus 1? Kahit nga siguro hindi 30 seconds eh. Okay, let us see. If your answer is m is equal to 12, b is equal to 1, therefore you are correct. The slope is 12. The y-intercept is 1. Okay, example number 4. What is the slope and y-intercept of y is equal to 2 third x plus 7? So this time, nagkaroon tayo ng fraction. Paano ba yan? Is it still in the slope-intercept form? Yes. Okay, kasi as long as y lang yung nasa kaliwa natin, it is in slope-intercept form. So therefore, the slope is Two-third, and the y-intercept is 7. So, as simple as that, kahit yan ay fraction, whole number, that is still the slope and y-intercept. Example number 5. What is the slope and y-intercept of y is equal to negative 1-8x minus 2 fifth. Examine again if that is in slope-intercept form. And yes, it is already in slope-intercept form. So basically, m is equal to negative 1 8 and b is equal to negative 2 fifth. Okay, but how about example number 6? What is the slope and y-intercept of 5x plus y is equal to 9? Let us examine. Is it in the slope-intercept form? 
no. Because of 5x here. So, yung 5x ay kailangan na mawala sa kaliwang part ng ating equation. So, to do that, we need to use the APE or Addition Property of Equality. So, meaning to say, we are going to add negative 5x to both sides of the equation. So, kung magdadagdag tayo ng negative 5x sa kaliwa, ganun din. Negative 5x din sa kanan. Okay, so that will give us 5x minus 5x plus y is equal to negative 5x plus 9. So, dito, mawawala na si 5x because 5x minus 5x, that is 0. Ang matitira na lang sa kaliwa is y. And copy the terms in the left sa or in the right side of the equation. Okay, so ang mangyayari niyan, y is equal to negative 5x plus 9. So ito ay nasa slope intercept form na. Pag yan ay nasa slope intercept form na, we can now easily identify the slope and the y intercept. The slope is negative 5 because that is the numerical coefficient of the variable x or yung kalapit ng mayroong variable x. At ang 9, ang ating y-intercept. How about example number 7? What is the slope and y-intercept of negative 6x plus y is equal to negative 1? Let us examine again. Nasa slope-intercept form ba siya? Hindi, kasi may negative 6x sa kaliwa. So, para mawala si negative 6x, we will use APE again. We will add 6x to both sides of the equation. Kasi kapag ka dinagdagan natin yan ng 6x, magiging 0 na lang yung negative 6x. Katulad nito, negative 6x plus 6x plus y is equal to 6x minus 1. Okay, so makakancel na dito si negative 6x at positive 6x. Ang matitira na lang is y is equal to 6x minus 1. At ito ay nasa slope-intercept form na. Ayun. So, we can now easily get the value of the slope and the y-intercept. The slope is 6. The y-intercept is negative 1. Napakasimple. So, kaya natin kunin ang slope at ang y-intercept ng equation if the equation is in slope-intercept form already. Kung sakali naman na hindi pa siya nasa slope-intercept form, we will rewrite the equation into slope-intercept form. So, just remember on how to get the slope and y-intercept of linear equation. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something on how we can get the slope and y-intercept of a line. So if you have any comment, any question, or anything to ask about the lesson, just comment down below and I will make sure to respond to it. Thank you so much at kita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na math lesson. Goodbye!